I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. If it weren't for Dima, most of us would probably be dead. Hey there. Need something? Hey, Kasumi said she needed the key to the storage room downstairs. Can I borrow it? Well, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, you could, but I lost it. Should never have agreed to help Faraday move all that equipment in the observatory. Like there could be anything I'm carrying that's going to damage Dima's computers. <sighs> I was shoving things around in that upper floor that circles the wall of the telescope room, if that helps. Hey, Dima. What can I do for you? Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's... unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Now, I'm getting sick of this whole noble leader bullshit from you, Dima. Now stop hiding and tell me the truth. All right, you've made your point. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island shortly after we built Acadia between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other, and each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral, but Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog, so that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake. Because Martin is gone and the new confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us, to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. You 
left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. The Children of Adam on this island? You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the Children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost, and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the Children of Adam's base. You're new on the island so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. I'm gonna replace all your memories with pictures of cats. Meow. Well, I suppose that would certainly make remembering some of my darker hours more... fuzzy. In all seriousness, good luck. I understand the risks you're taking on our behalf. It's in all our best interest that you succeed. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world.
are on the terminal again. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice.
Hey. What do you want? Over here. I would be delighted to. Hey. Do you need something from me? Hey. You need something, yes? Yeah? Mm, yes? That's all for now. Not a problem. Let us continue our journey. Excuse me. Need something? Not looking to buy right now. Okay, then. Yes. What is it? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the Children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. Alright. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the Children of Adam, or my memories? I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Adam at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more... Mm -hmm. Our ultimate goal... Hey there. Yes? Uh, <clears throat> Did you need something? I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? You're already taking care of it, aren't you? Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the Children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. About the children of Adam, what do you know about them? Well, I heard about them a little bit back in the Commonwealth. Radiation worship, 
something like that? I wasn't in Far Harbor long, but there's a lot of hatred for them there. I overheard someone talking about killing a child of Adam missionary. I can see why Dima would be worried. We just need to make sure we know he's not up to something else. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. What shall we talk about? Your thoughts? You must be very careful. The idea of you coming to arm? There. My heart is fluttering again. That's all for now. Not a problem. Let us continue our journeys. Most of us will probably be dead.
A ghoul. Most intriguing. Starting recording. Your pulse and vital signs are still within access. This is so violent. I have my. You talked to Cassie Dalton? Shame what happened to her family. You have to help us. There may have been a crime. Ah, you there. Are you that detective I've heard about? Who said I was a detective? Mayor Avery said that someone new had arrived on the island investigating a missing person. That must be you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who's the victim? Well... We want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. 
Is this conversation on the clock? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I do have a bit of petty cash on me that I could provide for your time. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. This type of investigation usually requires a retainer. Oh, you're a private investigator, not an employee of the state. Well, yes, then I suppose a retainer can be arranged. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Take it one day at a time. Nobody's heard nothing from Haddock Cove after the fog started spreading. Mariner says the fog's alive. Can hear you. So mind what you say. Okay. Use time. Fully stop. Guns, guns, and more guns. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. But keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is. He showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Can you tell me anything else? I'm gonna need more information than that if I'm gonna find this synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Hey. A lot of people only got the clothes on their back here.
fighting? Why not a civilized discussion instead? Hmm, there's a trail of blood. meat crawling in from the fog don't care if it's my lurk or man I'm not looking for trouble I just need to find someone a young man with white hair you help me I'll leave yeah we found him one of the fog's creatures already attacked him he was bleeding out but you know why waste the meat here well what's left take it <laughs> now go. Don't come back. Oh no. The body can repair tissue damage, but still, too much radiation too quickly can prove fatal. Caution is recommended.
everyone's souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. You need it? Bait shop's got it. Stranger, you need odds, ends, junk, or knickknacks. You've come to the right place. No thanks. Come back if you change your mind. I don't have time. Odd times. Remember, the island's always watching. Be careful out there. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. So, who else needs to be avenged? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. What happened to him? He had a farm, little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler is gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Mainlanders don't last long on the island. I'll be damned if I give up on taking back my land. shipment all your medical and food needs Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. Captain Avery's all right. Is that a pit boy? I've heard about this.
We heading out? Got everything you need? Well, I've got my gun, my drink, and my wits. That's all I've ever needed. Time to get moving, then? Not yet. Just stay put for now. Right. You need something, yes? Wait there. I will wait. It is safe here, yes? Whiskey's running low. Better find some more, and soon. Hey there. We heading out? That's right. Let's get going. After you, then. Hey. Hmm? I need to ask you something. You need something? Your thoughts? Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have holes in them. How do you think things are between us? If it's love and admiration you're after, then you picked the wrong man to run with. That's all. Right then. something, monsieur. How are you doing? I must confess, I am missing you. I hope you've come so we can travel again together. Hint, hint. Never mind. As you wish. Fog's got in my lungs again.
Heads up. What's eating you? someone else. <laughs>
hotel staff really needs to do something about the lobby. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit, um, rowdy. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit handsy, shall we say. The registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel, though, and do not associate with this sort of rabble. Shall we be off? What do you mean the other patrons are rowdy? I had not been in this part of the hotel for some time. Perhaps there is some sort of sporting event that has them agitated. Several of them tried to grab me and, well, their clothing was certainly not suitable for polite company. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. This way.
is open, something stuck. Pressure. your eyes. Say rich folks ate their fancy dinner. Here we go. <laughs> 